With the TT platform, you can place and manage orders directly on your charts. Chart trading provides quick and easy single-click order entry and convenient access to order parameters and customizations. You can also see your orders working in the market, make adjustments to your working orders, view your fills, and more. Here, we have a one-minute candle chart for E-mini Dow Futures. To enable chart trading, we click on the icon to expand the chart menu and select the Enable Trading icon. We can also access chart settings to display our fill information. We now see an order pane and bid and ask columns that function much like MD Trader, providing single-click order entry for the instrument displayed in the chart. When we enable chart trading, we automatically enable settings that display our working orders on the chart. As you can see, we have existing fills and working orders in the E-mini DAO. Our fills are displayed on our chart with a red triangle indicator for sell orders and a blue triangle indicator for buy orders. The fill indicators are positioned in relation to the price level on the y-axis at the average price level for all fills executed during that interval. Our working orders will display in line with the interval during which they were placed. Our working bids will display in blue and our working offers in red. To submit a new order, we use the order pane to configure our order and click in the bid or ask column to enter our order. The price levels in the bid and ask columns are highlighted to indicate the presence of existing bids and offers. When we hover over a price level in either column, the price at which the order would be sent is displayed. If we hover over the bids column, the price is displayed blue to indicate a buy. Conversely, if we hover over a price level in the asks column, the price is highlighted red to indicate a sell. Before entering a new order, let's cancel all of our existing orders. You can cancel individual orders by clicking the X that is connected to the box displaying the order information, or you can use the cancel order buttons in the order pane to cancel all bids, asks, or all orders completely. Now, let's close our open position in the eMini DAO. We select our account, order type, and time and force from the drop-down menus. We see that we have an existing position of long five contracts. Let's click on our position to seed that as our next order quantity. Then, we will click in the red asks column to enter our sell order at the desired limit price. If our order is not immediately filled, we will see a working order indicator on the chart. We can modify the price of that order by dragging and dropping to a new price level, or we can modify the order by clicking on the indicator and adjusting the order in the floating order book. Our working order quantity of 5 is followed by the number of contracts filled, currently 0. The order type of limit is also displayed. Let's set a stop limit order below our limit order. This working order displays a 5 behind the letter U to indicate an undisclosed quantity of 5 which will be submitted into the market once the trigger price is traded. When the order is filled, the working order indicator disappears, and a new fill indicator appears on the bar for the time period the fill occurred. Hovering over our fill indicators will display a summary of fill information for that interval. The aggregated number of contracts either bought or sold and the average price is displayed in bold. The total number of contracts traded at each price level is listed below. With single-click order entry and visual indicators displaying our working orders and fill information, Chart trading is a powerful tool that combines technical analysis with trade execution and order management. For more information, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.